What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today we're throwing down an incredibly delicious blackened cod on a skillet, on your grill, in your very own backyard. It is fragrant and delicious and a little bit spicy. You're gonna love this one. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. To kick off cooking our beautiful cod fillets, I need to preheat my grill. I'm doing these on a Weber kettle today with two zone heat. You can cook them on whatever grill you like as long as you have slightly variable temperature. So we're gonna start preheating our grill to 400 degrees, but later in the recipe, I'm gonna drop it down to 350. So if you have a pellet grill and you can control temperature that way, it works great. In my kettle, I know that I can start the searing process off over the high heat and then move it over to the low heat to finish the cooking process. Honestly, this works great on most types of grills. So as long as you can kind of control those temperatures in that 50 degree range, you're good to go. Once my grill is preheated and rolling to 400 degrees, it's time to prep my cod fillets. I'm gonna start by making my homemade blackened seasoning. This is as easy as combining all of the ingredients into a small bowl. I start with a tablespoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. I also add in a full teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This makes for a pretty spicy rub. So if you're somebody that is a little bit nervous around heat, you can cut the cayenne in half and not have quite as punchy of a blackened seasoning. I also add in three quarters of a teaspoon of white pepper, three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, and a half a teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. This gives us a really punchy, warm seasoning that is also really balanced with these herbs that we're using. Once my seasoning is made, I'm gonna sprinkle it liberally on all sides of the cod and let it sit for just a minute while I prep the next step. I set a 12 inch cast iron skillet or any large heavy bottom skillet that you can use on the grill over the high temperature side of the grill and drizzle in a couple tablespoons of avocado oil. Avocado oil is my favorite to use when I'm grilling or doing these high temperature sears because it has a really high smoke point and not a ton of flavor is added to the final product itself. It just gives you a really nice crispy crust on the outside. Once my oil is starting to ripple in the pan, it looks almost like shimmering on the top of water. I know it's time to put my cod fillets in, so I just lay them gently in my preheated cast iron skillet and let them sear for about three to four minutes. I flip the fillets over. I really like to use a thin metal spatula for this to prevent any of my fish from sticking to the pan. It lifts up really easily. Flip it over in the pan, slide that pan over to the indirect heat side of the grill, close the lid, close the vent so that the temperature starts to drop down in the grill to about 350 degrees and then let it finish cooking. Now, depending on the thickness of your fillets, it's gonna indicate how long your cod needs to continue cooking on the indirect heat side of the grill. Uh, fillets that are about an inch and a half thick tend to take 10 to 12 minutes for this step of the cooking process. If you have thinner fillets, they will cook quite a bit quicker. If your fillets are thicker, they'll take a little bit longer. So use a good thermometer. We're looking for a final internal temperature of our cod of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Once my cod hits 145 degrees, I'm ready to pull it out of the skillet onto my serving platter. I think it's delicious as is, but I also like to serve it with a couple of garnishes. I like some fresh chopped Italian parsley and some lemon wedges just to give them some extra pop and freshness. The cod is out of the pan. I like to just hit it with some fresh lemon at the end. I think the acidity in the lemon, always good with fish, but a particularly delicious foil to the heat that you get from the cayenne pepper in the blackened seasoning. I got this little end piece that kind of fell off right here. It's like a little cod nugget. Cod itself is one of the more mild fishes that you can have. And it is so buttery and flaky and tender. The cod in and of itself is delicious, but you add on this incredibly bold blackened seasoning and it just takes things over the top. You get the heat from the cayenne, that smoky paprika, and then you get the crispy, crunchy edges from it frying in that avocado oil. Plus the lemon on the back end just lifts everything and makes it feel so fresh and delicious. This was done in several minutes. We threw together the seasoning and everything, cooked it outside on the grill. It came together so fast, 
very simple weeknight staple you can easily make at home and then repeat week after week because if your family is anything like mine it'll be on the request list quite regularly you can grab this full recipe at heygrillhay.com or i have a hey grill hay app in the google play store and the apple app store that has all of my recipes available for free thank you so much for watching let me know if you've had cod before this is one that might be new to some people but it's a winner to everyone that's tried it See you next time.